this is Dr. Saeed Arshad Hussain, consultant pulmonologist. I am also adjunct professor in pulmonology at the Gulf Medical University in UAE. I have been asked this question repeatedly by colleagues as well as from patients as to what is interstitial lung disease, what is lung fibrosis. So I thought we'll do a small uh, informative discussion around this topic. <clears throat> a chronic fibrosis is the process that happens in interstitial lung disease, which means there is stiffening of the uh, airways. Uh, lung is a spongy organ, so does the job of gas exchange. But when fibrosis set in, to make it easy to understand, it is stiffness of the lungs that starts to set in. And when that happens, people become symptomatic. So they will have shortness of breath, they could have cough, they could have uh, fatigue, tiredness, uh, lethargy. They could also have a blue coloration of the um, periphery cyanosis, we call it. They could have some changes in the nail called clubbing. So there are various things that are associated. And when we listen to the chest wall, usually there is creptations. Now, this is a disease which does not affect the young people. It's a disease as we grow older. So usually a disease in the 60s um, that affects people. And there's a process which is an irreversible process called fibrosis, which starts to happen, the stiffness of the lungs. Now, <clears throat> different classifications and different categorization do exist. To make it simple, I have classified this into an idiopathic type of um, interstitial lung disease or lung fibrosis. In that, we can put usual interstitial pneumonitis, UIP, which is a, uh, the severe spectrum of disease, does not usually respond to steroid treatment. Non-specific interstitial pneumonitis, NSIP, which is the form which responds very well to uh, steroid treatment. Along with that, there are other possibilities like cryptogenic organizing pneumonitis, which again responds very well to oral steroids. There is discommutative interstitial pneumonitis called DIP. There's RBILD, respiratory bronchitis, interstitial lung disease. And also uh, there is acute interstitial pneumonitis. So there's many types of idiopathic um, interstitial lung disease. Along with that, there are some interstitial lung disease we associated with uh, connective tissue disorders like rheumatoid arthritis, scleroderma and there are other uh, different types of uh, condition mixed connective tissue disorders uh, which are the diseases which are rheumatological diseases but they are also associated with lung fibrosis there is sometimes uh, a hypersensitivity pneumonitis which is also happens and this happens usually to either birds antigen or some chemical or toxin in the in the atmosphere which is a hypersensitivity type of a reaction and the other types that can happen is is called sarcoidosis which is a benign condition and also one other classification do um, exist when it's work related people who are working with asbestos or working with metals like um, silica and also radon so these are the metals that can also be contributing to the lung fibrosis, but they are very rare. So common one is the idiopathic and unknown cause, UIP, interstitial lung disease. It's a slow progressive disease, it's a chronic disease, it does not get better with time. It can be associated with asthma or airway disease, hence inhalers could be trialed in the treatment. Thank you.